Hi, I'm Keith, and welcome back to my fourth video of Making Paradise. Um, this is the end of May, Memorial Day weekend, and as I told you in the last video I shot, I'd be put, putting together an arbor. So I've got the arbor constructed and painted, and we're going to go take a look at it. So I'll swing the camera around, and we'll take a look at it. So there it is. Um, it's the turquoise color right there. Uh, with some blue containers on the top, and then we've got a, a pipe connecting those columns with a purple um, begonia called Brazilian that's growing on it. And underneath that, as you saw last time, were some peach colored Peruvian lilies, um, which are just a great flower, blooms for four or five months, if not more than that, and a great cut flower. Now I'm going to kind of bring the camera down and you can take a look at the whole garden. Um, we'll swing across there's the path and there's the creek below and we have one of my bridges that goes across the other side. So I am going to uh, I'm going to walk around to the other side of the garden take a look from that side because that is one of the nicer vantage points but I will show you a couple of plants along the way again that's a Mexican poppy right there we got some grass right there. I think it's called Penicetum orientalis. And then we got a, a landscape rose um, called Marjorie Fair. It's got these clusters of several roses. Um, I think it's a, it's a polyantha or something like that. And anyhow, a really vibrant red with a white center to them. Um, really nice um, color. All right, let's go ahead and walk up the side of my wall right here. Walk around to the other side, and there's some red uh, kangaroo paws right there. And then I'll have you take a look at this uh, strip of stone over there, or marmalade bush. Um, it's coming into, it is in sort of full bloom, and yeah, it may get a little bit better than this, but this is not looking too bad right now. Swing back around here, keep walking on the path. We'll go by my little orchard here, which I've already discussed. All right, so this is, right, for me, this is one of the, the best vantage points, is this right here. So, coming up the upper part of the garden here by my oak tree, I'll just walk across here. And so we have this path that sort of turns back around here, and I'm gonna back up for a second but I think that right here this is a great view of this arbor now I'll just discuss kind of briefly the plantings that I have so um, in the foreground you're gonna see a princess flower bush with these magenta flowers little magenta flowers now it has been blooming since probably late winter time I would say February and now it's the end of May, so it's been blooming like four or five months, just beginning to sort of, um, it's beginning to fade, it's, it's beyond its peak, but it was just covered with these magenta flowers, um, and now it's gonna start growing like crazy. And then we've got planted around these roses, um, some native ferns, um, and then uh, flanking the right side of the bench and arbor, or as I mentioned, um, are some, Proven lilies, these are a, there's a ton of colors of these guys, but this is a, a light pink variety. Um, um, light pink, light peach variety. Um, and they'll bloom for a good four or five months. Great cut flower, um, just a wonderful backdrop. Um, and then planted above the bench and behind the flowers. Um, are some flaxes called dark delight um, and then one of them is began to shoot up some uh, flower stalks right there which make it even a little bit more dramatic um, and then behind those are some uh, plumbagos now those have just started to bloom but you can imagine um, you got this sort of peach colored with this magenta these bronze colored flaxes behind there are some um, the plumbagos. Now I have a variety that is not, I don't quite remember the, the, the name of it, but it's a, more of a 
it's a darker, more fluorescent uh, color than a regular plumbago. Uh, so anyway, those are just beginning to ready to bloom. And then behind that, I've got an assortment of different uh, shrubs and so forth, mostly for privacy. But it's a nice combination of plants right there. Um, and I'll just kind of swing back around. Other side of the garden, you're going to see uh, way in the background there is a rose called um, uh, Multibellus, or Chinese rose. And it has uh, uh, these roses that are in uh, different ranges of color depending on where they are in their bloom, from like a pink, a reddish pink, to a pink, uh, to a peach color. Uh, really nice. Not much of a scent to them, but a great rose in the landscape. And then I'll just go ahead and uh, zoom back here, and we'll take a look at the the casita down below in my little house and then eventually I'll have in that center area um, in the back of where those chairs are a water feature right there um, but I think this is looking pretty good here I'm going to walk a little closer take a look at some of these plants up close there's the little princess flower uh, flowers um, and then there's the Peruvian lilies. Get up a little closer. Aren't those great um, striations and the, and the blooms? And just a great mix of colors right there. Just wonderful. Um, and then the, I got this um, Bougainvillea called Brasiliensis, which is uh, I've tied up and just planted from a 15 gallon, but it's beginning, it's really taking off here. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it. So, um, my vegetable garden, it's in bad need of some uh, weeding. But yeah, there's the arbor structure. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, appreciate you joining me today. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and subscribe. And I will try to follow through with getting... Uh, video posted every month so you can see the progression of the garden through the seasons and uh, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.